things. Um, I want us to um, begin tonight from the point where you were given $100,000 wow. to spend within a week yeah. when you joined the Brotherhood. Yeah. $100,000. And you, you had to spend that yes. in just a week, yes. seven days. Yes. Why? It was just the first test. Like they always say, it's the first test. Because um, a young man of my age, about 100,000, and it wasn't given by one man or from the coffers of the Brotherhood, no. It was 10 executives who were there at that time. Yeah. And everybody gave $10,000. Each member gave $10,000. So then, then it became um, $100,000. $100, then the Brotherhood gave, gave us a mansion. Mm -hmm. And a Jaguar. To you? Yes. For what? Just for welcoming you into the brotherhood. And and why did you have to spend was it was it mandatory to spend that yes, hundred thousand in one week? Yes, in one week. Why? Why did you have to spend such money just in a week? <laughs> yes, it was part of their rules. That it's a test. Now you've been initiated. Mm -hmm. There are more things ahead of you. This is just a one week journey. Mm -hmm. So it means if you are able to do all these things, then you pass the first step. If not, either you go mad or your descendants, your family, will start dying one by one. Then they would be dropping one by one. If you are unable yeah. to spend that money yes. within a week. Yes, within so, a week. So you were able to spend it. Yes, I did it within five days. You spent hundred thousand yes, dollars. Yes, five days. How did you spend it? I bought houses, I bought cars, I gave some out to charity, to needy and stuff. So within five days I was able to spend all this money. How many houses did you buy? For the 100,000 one, the first term um, was, I think, like five houses with 100,000. was just mini, mini Where houses. in Ghana yeah. here? No, no, no. In Lagos and Port Harcourt. I see. Yes. I think Ghana here, <laughs> like, mostly I wasn't um, doing all those things here in Ghana because mm. my parents are well known. They are, yeah. you know, they are Christians and believers. So if it comes to here, Ghana, no, I need to be the, the child they look me up to. But if I go outside the end, like, you just go do your thing there. And the people you spent it on, I mean, what, what, what happened to them? As a recap, like last week, for instance, if I give you the money, then I pick up something from you. So it even started from there. The buying of people's destinies? Yes, the buying of their destiny started from there. So the $100,000, you need to spend it. You are spending it, yes. People give it to you. So you also need to get something back. I see. Of course, the devil doesn't give anything for free. You are also operating a taxi business. Yes. Work and pay, as, as they yeah. say. Tell us about it. Yes. For that, it, it was here in Ghana. Yeah, work and pay. You had a lot of taxis. Yes, a lot of you taxis. You gave out to taxi drivers yes. um, to, to, to work with yes. and then pay mm. back. Were they able to pay? Um, no. But some of them... In the way through the two years. I give you the taxi for two years. Mm -hmm. It's a two years, so it's work and pay. I don't charge you. I don't let See, you bring a collateral. As um, you that. guys, you can find this yourself here on this place here. Uh, it's all on YouTube now. They're coming out exposing their, their um, selves. Uh, you see, this is what started the... Um, unsettlement between Wodemeyer and myself when I left Ghana a few years ago. While I was there, I used to comment on his videos in China when he had his little Chinese woman, I remember. Mm. And I would go there on his wall and splash it with love and give hearts and kisses and roses and give encouragement of stay together and love each other, take care of each other, because that's the kind of person I am. So that's how Wodemeyer became to know me. Now, I became to know him later on when he got upset at me because he said I was trying to paint his precious Kumasi Ghana in a different light that wasn't pleasing to him. So then he also said it was... um candy can't can, what's her name but anyhow the other girl there that uh made him to go back to kumasi ghana once again i will say it wasn't her it was me it was me and look what 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 
came out of me. I meant no harm. I, I will, I will um, say this. Let me say it like this. I only correct those which I love. And if I care, you know, I want to expose the thing just so that it can get cleaned up and get better. And so this was the thing, Mr. Wodemeyer and everybody else out there that's running, that was running to uh, places like Nigeria and Ghana, all of West Africa, East Africa, South Africa, wherever running to Africa. And I was saying, I was simply saying, beware of the dark side. Beware of the side of Africa that is looking for people outside of Africa to kill, to murder, to blood sacrifice. Beware of that side of Africa that you don't know about the dark side. Hello? Because it's um, unrighteousness, you know, and uh, it's... it's like Damien Marley said in his song, all this darkness no feel right. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. I know I have went there. I've gone there and I even embraced the darkness. I embraced it once in my life, but I embraced it only to say, I see you. I see you. I know you are here. But all this darkness no feel right. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Boda Maya. Let there be light. Boda Maya. Let there be light. So you show, you want to show one side that is all good. And it's also beautiful. Come, come, look at the beautiful scenery and beautiful Ghana, beautiful Africa, beautiful. Yeah. But t t tell the other side too, okay? Tell these people how they can end up there with their lives gone and their family's lives gone and their family messed up for 20 generations ahead. Won't you talk about that? Reveal that too, Wodermeyer. That's my problem with you.